guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is highly requested video um you guys wanted me to do what's in my case um i've done this video maybe two years ago maybe more um so yeah i just thought why not let's just do it again uh this time i'm gonna feature my musafia dart case i think the last time i did this kind of a video I featured my Enigma case also from Musafia so um, since I have been using this one a lot recently I just thought let's just go ahead and do the video so I think I will have to put the camera down and this way you can see a little bit better but yeah let's get started all right guys so this is my case in here we're gonna I think we're gonna start with uh, from like with a packet here. Well, I'm gonna show you what I have in the packet because I feel like the packet is always super exciting. There's a lot of things, you know, that people do keep in their, you know, case packets. Now, this case, like I mentioned, this is the dart shaped case. So obviously it's a little bit wider in here and as you go down, it gets narrow. So this is like a violin kind of shaped. But this particular case is a master series. Um, so it features a deeper packet. So this is not like your typical, you know, very thin Small packet. This is more of a deeper packet So as you can see I have everything nicely stored in here and I was able even to put um, Music in here. So in this wider part of the case because of the bigger, you know, deeper packet I am able to put the music. So let me show you There we go. This is my content of my packet. This is uh, what I usually take with me. You know, it's, of course, it depends on the day, but most of the time, this 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 thing just stays in here. So the first thing first, I always have some kind of a pouch, uh, and you know, I know this is bougie and not necessary, but <laughs> this is the Louis Vuitton pouch, and this is from this is like um, it's very narrow. But I, and it's because it's very narrow. I purchased this with the you know intention of using it actually in my cases, and I like to have some kind of the case because I keep all my little essentials in here. And even though when I switch my cases, you know when I take different violins, I literally just take this pouch and put it in another case. So it really really works for me. And I'm just gonna show you quickly what I have in here because I am sure you all very very curious. So I have a lot of yeah a lot of junk in here so um of course strings is like the first thing that you need to have so i do have a jargar superior strings those are very very nice strings highly recommend uh the ones that i'm currently using are those um canon and these are from larsen also very very nice strings i have extra e string in here and then, well, you never know when you might need to charge your phone. <laughs> so I do have a cord. I have a bunch of, I have obviously the, you know, little essentials, whatever you need here. And uh, I have a bunch of pencils, as you can see. And I do have some extra mute. This is the Spectre mute. Not my favorite, but it's great for orchestra playing, especially when you have to, um, you know, kind of go back and forth very quickly. So yeah, and a bunch of pencils, pencils, pens, because that's what you always need. So yeah that's usually what it stays in this little pouch and then like i mentioned earlier i am able to fit the music you cannot put a lot obviously but usually the things that i'm working on will fit perfectly so beethoven sonatas i'm working on two sonatas currently because um i don't even know if that recital will happen we all know that the year 2020 is the year of beethoven and uh, we were supposed to have a little recital playing all the sonatas, but um, yeah, I just don't know if this is gonna happen because of the current situation, but this is still something on my plate. And then um, I've also started to work recently on this piece. This is the La Capriccios, and this is from Elgar. Uh, I've played a long time ago and I lost my original music, so I had to repurchase and I'm just currently putting some, you know, bowings and fingering, so, uh, you know, as far as I can remember. So, yeah, so those are basically like two pieces that I have right now here um, in my, you know, on my practice 
stand usually and when I have to take it with me and then um, other essentials that I keep it here this is the dump it you know if I feel like it's very dry outside um, and if I need extra boost then I will put this in my uh, in my uh, in my violin or my case and then a uh, very trusty metronome which is a hundred years old um, I think they still do make those I think I've seen it somewhere um, uh, I don't know if I can find it. I'll link it down below for you guys. This is I don't know. I have it for gosh like 20 years 15 20 years It's great. This metronome is just great and I like the fact that it's not too big because um, The boss they make it like very large, you know metronomes, but this one is is kind of compact size so yeah, I like to take this everywhere with me and then you know have some Kleenex tissues what else I have here? And I have a hairbrush because you just never know when you might need a hairbrush. So the hairbrush always lives there at the very, you know, top of that instrument. So yeah, so that's pretty much all I had in the pocket. Uh, oh, there's a pencil also. See this, um, this case features like a two hooks. And when I'm, I mentioned it when I reviewed a case, so those are like little two loops actually. And you can uh, put the pencils in here inside. So. Um, you know, you can always have something extra and the inside here is like a very nice plush, plush like material, really, really kind of luxurious to the touch and um, yeah, and obviously it's very sturdy canvas on the top, waterproof canvas on the top. So yeah, so that's pretty much all I had in this packet. So let's take a look at the inside of the case. a couple of months ago I posted a video um, like a four-year update on this case uh, if you're interested to see a little bit more about this case I'm gonna link that video somewhere up there um, so you can go ahead you know and click on it and check it out um, if you want to see more details but today I'm just gonna focus clearly on what's inside so um, obviously I have my violin <laughs> And this violin is the Klotz violin. If, you, if you're new to my channel, you know, uh, you're familiar with this uh, instrument. So I have it here and then I do have a one bow uh, today. This is, um, this is Nuremberger. So this is the German bow. Um, that I like to use for teaching and I like to use this bow sometimes for practice. It's really depends, but um, this is certainly my teaching bow. So. I have this in my case. Obviously, this case can hold up to two bows, so there is a room for another bow up here. But um, yeah, my other other bows are in my Enigma case right now, so I always switch around. So, um, speaking of bows, let's take a look what's in my little compartment when it comes to the rosins. I like to keep the variety of rosins because I always switch my bows, and each of my case just has a pretty much similar. Um, amount of the rosin. So uh, the three that I have in here, this is obviously the Lubach, uh, this is the gold rosin. So all of those rosins I recommended in my uh, top five, I think, rosins video that I did recently. Then obviously I have a Mr. Baker's rosin. This is the original version. So I have it as well. And I do have a leatherwood rosin. And this one is the crisp. This is probably the most used um, out of those two that I have. I have a crisp and supple. I think the crisp is, I use it a little bit more sometimes. I, well, often I like to mix them, but um, yeah, recently I've been very much into the crisp rosin. So yeah, so these three rosins are always here in my pocket. And like I said, I have those in my different violins as well, so I don't have to change the rosins that I kind of change the you know the bows if I need to and then obviously uh, my violin sits right here in the middle and I always have you should always have some kind of a cleaning cloth these are the ones that I like the most these are from Char Music microfiber they are not too big and they are great for you know taking the rosin uh, of your violin after practicing so you can always you know just wipe it off and um, sometimes I put them like in here I put them just to cover you know chin rest um, yeah that's I, I just always have a few of them handy 
because I just like them so much. And I also, as you can see it here, I also keep um, a mute. This is the W mute. I know sometimes I get a questions from you guys. You are wondering what it is. This is the W mute. Um, it's it's a beautiful mute, but it's not always the best for orchestra playing because you literally have to, you know, take it from let's say if you keep it on the G string, you can keep on any string basically. But then when you have to play with the mute, you have to take it off and place it in the middle of the, you know, of the bridge, and then you have to literally take it off and put it in here somewhere. So. Uh, that's why I can have extra spectre mute so I can actually slide it up and down if I don't. Because sometimes, you know, playing in the symphony, you just don't have a couple of measures, you know, <laughs> to take the mute on and off. So sliding mute sometimes is better option, but um, I do like the sound of this mute uh, so much better. So I like to keep it here in case I can use it. I would prefer to use this. So this always sits on my violence and moves with me whenever I switch the instruments. And um, yeah, the last thing that I have in my case is obviously the shoulder rest. And uh, again, if you're not new to my channel, you know that I've stick to this shoulder rest for a while. And I don't know, this is foam. I don't know this company. I sometimes I try to find it, and I cannot even find them online. So um, yeah, it's I have to fix it a little bit. You know, it's not probably the best quality, but. Uh, not everybody would like it because there's really no like cushion. This is just a wood and piece of suede on top of it. So if you are super sensitive, you need a little bit of the cushion. That's not going to be a shoulder rest for you. I don't really care. I like the curves <laughs> and I like how it sits on my shoulder and I don't need any cushion. Uh, I've been playing for so long that I just don't care about the cushion anymore. <laughs> but um, yeah, I do like the shape of this of, of this uh, shoulder rest. Yeah, there is some other shoulder rests that are quite similar in shape. But um, yeah, I, I found this one in my local you know violin shop, and I just kind of stick to it. So yeah, I don't even know what kind of. I think it's some kind of a Chinese made, um, but I don't know works for me so I do have two of those I keep in two of my um, I keep them into two different cases so yeah so yeah so that's pretty much it you guys so this is all I have this is all I usually keep in this case um, most of the time I'll have a second bow but um, yeah <laughs> I was using the other violence so I put the bows in there um, but yeah basically this is like my you know everyday setup and obviously the music will change and sometimes rosins will change it depend on my mood and yeah that's that's all i have in here okay so this is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please don't hesitate to comment down below let me know what's in your case what do you usually carry um yeah and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel please click on the subscription bat button notification bell and uh yeah welcome to my youtube family and i hope you guys are all doing well and i'll talk to you soon bye